Dress for Success Perth is part of a global charity which started in New York in 1997. Our mission is to empower women to attain economic independence and we do that by providing three core services. One is the styling and suiting program where women are styled ready for work. The second service is interview practice and job support sessions. And the third is the Going Places workshop series which was launched this year because of the Impact 100 grant. The styling is excellent and the, the mentoring is excellent, but we really feel like getting the women in the room and talking about key career development issues of the 21st century workplace has been an amazing opportunity. The workshops, they build on each other. So the very first one is career planning. So they've decided, okay, I've got to get a job. So we have the planning side of it. How do I go about it? Then we do our first impression. So understanding how important it is for a first impression, whether it be visual, the tone of your voice, your email, contact, phone, we cover everything. Building resilience, effective communication, both very big tools that a lot of the women have got it, but they just don't realise. There's things they've been through require a lot of resilience but they're all tucked away, hidden. I'm a mother of, of two, two boys, and um, I escaped from a domestic violence, a very toxic relationship, when my youngest was four, four days old. After that experience, you are not yourself. I didn't go to work for a very, very long time, and so I was, um, I didn't have the confidence, I didn't know how it feels like going to work. As soon as I walked in the office, it was just this um, positive energy around the room. I discovered many skills that I didn't even learn from school that I had, that I didn't know that would be useful for my work, for my job. Four weeks after being in touch with them, I got a job. I felt like screaming, I felt like, yes, call me for an interview. I felt really, like, really empowered. I was like, yeah, this is real. They're actually there to empower women, and I feel like I've already got something out of it. So CARAD's the Centre for Asylum Seekers, Refugees and Detainees. We're a small not-for-profit organisation assisting people seeking safety in Perth, Western Australia. We've got a huge issue whereby many people, especially asylum seekers, have no other way of supporting themselves than through employment, but the jobs aren't there for them. There are so many different barriers and so we decided that when you've got a problem, you've got to be the solution as well. Our social enterprise idea was to start Perth's first food truck that would be fully operated by people from refugee and asylum seeker backgrounds. So we purchased a truck and we've decided on our name, the Fair Go Food Truck. And also we've got a client team, people from refugee and asylum seeker backgrounds that are passionate about food and eager to have an opportunity to have employment in Australia. And our team is now functioning. So we've got enough training, our food hygiene certifications, a commercial kitchen space, um, and the recipes, of course, to be able to produce good food. So we've started operating at markets and catering events so that our fully uh, registered food business is actually operating. The truck is almost ready to go, but as soon as it's repainted, it will be on the road. All thanks to Impact. So without the funding, we wouldn't have been able to start this venture. We'd like it to be a pathway to future employment opportunities. So for many of the people involved in the project, working with us was the first day of paid work in Australia, and many had been here for a number of years. This is something to go on the resume. This is some training and some skills development in basic customer service in food preparation and in working in Australia. We conducted job interviews, we did job applications, we got tax file numbers, superannuation, all that fun stuff. That's skills that people can take with them the next time that they apply for a job. And I also hope that one of the big impacts is just changing community perceptions, that asylum seekers are part of our community and interacting with people seeking safety is something that should occur without us even knowing about it because they're just connected members of our community. 